Welcome again to this online course on heat exchangers. Heat exchangers as in these examples are the most popular heat transfer equipment used in the industry. In simple terms, a heat exchanger does the function of either heating or cooling a fluid, depending on the process requirement. Generally, a typical heat exchanger comprises of two sections, one for the hot fluid and the other for the cold fluid. The two fluids are passed through the heat exchanger in the following two basic methods, co-current or counter-current. In a co-current flow arrangement, both the hot and cold fluids flow in the same direction. This is depicted here in this example. In a counter-current flow arrangement, the hot and cold fluids flow in the opposite directions, as seen here. Now, to better illustrate these important concepts, let's have a look at the following simplified animations. On the left side of the screen, you can see a cross-sectional view of a single-pass, fixed-tube heat exchanger in a co-current flow arrangement. It is assumed here that the hot fluid flows through the tubes, while the cold fluid flows through the shell. On the right side of the screen, you can see a second heat exchanger and a counter-current flow arrangement. Here also, it is assumed that the hot fluid flows through the tubes, while the cold fluid flows through the shell. Now, at this stage, keep in mind that the flow of fluids through the tube and the shell results in heat exchange between them. In a co-current flow arrangement, the temperature of the cold fluid increases from TCI to TCO as the cold fluid flows through the shell. And the temperature of the hot fluid entering the exchanger decreases from the THI to THO as the hot fluid flows through the tubes. On the other hand, in a counter-current configuration, the temperature of the cold fluid entering the heat exchanger increases from TCI to TCO, as seen here. And the temperature of the hot fluid entering the exchanger decreases from THI to THO as the hot fluid flows through the tubes.